All right, so this is the TRD Pro grill. Um, as you can see, I'm impatient and I already opened it, but it came very nicely packaged with a lot of foam, bubble wrap. So I'll do a re-unboxing video. Um, so this is the actual sign that says Toyota. This is the sensor. And this baby in here is our grill. Let's go ahead and take it out. All right, I'm gonna need my other hand. I'll be right back. So as you can see, it comes with a lot of foam and padding. You're not gonna get any broken parts. Um, I'll put a link somewhere in the description. Again, it's from U Car Part. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, it comes with a lot of padding bubble wrap you're not going to get any broken or scratched parts this is the actual grill itself comes with everything you need nicely padded a lot of foam everywhere so that's that um, this is the sensor if you have i believe it's 2018 or new newer um, you can actually take this piece out and put in the sensor so you can still have everything that's supposed to work work properly i guess this is like glass and the sensor works through it that goes right there and then this is the actual toyota sign i'm gonna go ahead and take this out i'm gonna need my hand i'll be right back Alrighty. so this is the actual sign um, it comes with screws. I've already kind of put the screws there to not lose it, but that's going to screw in there from the back. Um, and then this is going to get installed in here. I'm going to take this out, put that in, and then uh, install it. So, all right. So now we have this thing flipped. So, four screws line this up. There's little cutouts. That makes it super easy. Get your drill or screwdriver or fingers or whatever you're using to screw these on. Very easy. Easy peasy. All right. So that's in there pretty nice and tight. And that's how it looks. Looks pretty nice. I like the finish, I like the feel. Feels nice. Um, there are some that have, I don't know, some lines here. I'm gonna take this out anyway, so I don't care. Um, I like the way how it feels. It looks very clean. I do like the silver on the font. Let's go ahead and take this off, put the sensor on and see how it looks. Be right so back. to take this off, it's super easy. There's two little clips here that you take off. Um, and then you can push down on this part with pretty much anything. And it'll pop right out. Super easy. Nothing too crazy. I've watched videos. I don't know why this thing is super hard to take out, but it, it's, it's super oh, easy on this. So when you take this thing off, there are these uh, weird clips. I don't know what these are called, but they're stuck in there. And to put the sensor in, it, it's way harder with these in there. I mean, I'm sure you can somehow jam it in there. But to avoid breaking anything, you could just use a flathead screw, a uh, screwdriver to take these out and then put this in. And you're going to secure it back up with these. Maybe I'll try to put these back on after it's in. I don't know. Maybe not. I'll just use what it came with. All right, let me go ahead and put this on. I'm going to try to do it with one hand. So you can see the process, but super easy. You know, has the clips on the bottom. And then there's one clip on the top. Okay, I'm going to need my second hand. I'll be right All back. All so what I ended up doing is actually... Taking this back out, I put those original clips that it came with 
onto that little piece and then I jammed it in there. Um, I tried putting it without those uh, clips and it just felt very loose on the top. Um, it feels solid right now. It's, it's like perfectly in. Oh, that one clipped in. Um, there's no movement. Maybe I'll still throw these on top just for extra security. Although, I don't think this thing's going anywhere. I mean, if if anything, I don't know, you have a better chance of your whole grill falling off before this little piece does. So I'll, I'll leave it the way it is for now. Um, when I install it, I'm going to go ahead and put the sensor and see how that works. Maybe I can use these as spacers if the sensor is not working properly to kind of angle it. All right, so that is it. Step one is done. I'll peel that once everything is installed just to make sure I don't scratch it. Next thing is to remove the stock grill off and install this. It should be a pretty easy process. So that should be coming up next. Alrighty, it's time to install the new grill. All right, so we're gonna need to undo that, 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 and that, and then of course um, unhook these clips that the sensor is mounted on with. Now online, there's a video that says there's some clips on the bottom. I, I can't seem to find any, so I'm gonna take those four off the top and see if it comes off. If not, then I'll kind of mess around to see if there's anything on the bottom. So pretty much everything in the front is a 10. Number 10, milliliter, millimeter. Everything in the front is a 10 millimeter, so we're gonna take that off. Easy. Oops. All right, so once you have all of those off, you have to take this little sensor out, and there's actually a little button here that you can press and hold, and it pops out. Mine kind of took a while. As you can see, the car is kind of filthy. I took it mudding a couple of times, so I don't know if, if this had any sort of residue on it, but it looks clean, whatever. Um, and then these just pop a little up and out and you can literally just pull up oops pull the whole thing out and it comes out so the whole front piece comes out like that um i'll probably get a little rag and clean this up All right, so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna unhook these two and unscrew the sensor out and then you're not doing anything with the outside ones. So you have eight screws here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you just have to take out these inner clips, which there is, I don't know, probably another three, six, seven, eight. And this sh should come out. mention one thing one of the sensor wires that clips up here it's a lot easier to remove once you take this plate off because then you'll actually see the little tab here that you can squeeze it's so hard to do this with one hand but anyways i'm going to do it and, and come back to the video you can see the tab there that you have to squeeze just like that. that that piece is out replacement will go in there We'll keep that in the storage. But now I have to take off the sensor. So for the sensor, you have to take off, take off this clip, screw it looks like, screw, screw. So it looks like three screws, one clip. Let's Another thing, back. just to not break anything, once you take these uh, three screws off, I think your best bet is gonna be to take this Toyota logo off and then unclip it rather than try to somehow get your finger around and I don't know risk ripping it so I'm gonna go ahead and unclip these four clips take the sensor out and then unhook this turned this. out to be the most difficult part because I'm an ape and I didn't realize that there's another screw here holding the stupid sign in place and I guess I'm gonna need those so I'll take those off as well
Okay. Whack. Now let's take the sign. That's what I mean. Once you take the Toyota logo off, you can see the little clips and that easily comes off. Let's go ahead and set this off to the side and take these out. So those easily come out. Or not so easy. Again, doing this with one hand is so much harder. So I'm gonna just take that out and come so back. So this thing came pretty, pretty well packaged. You know, little details. I don't know if every company does this, but they put little foam things around those clips just to make sure nothing breaks. So I believe we are not going to need the eight screws that came off the original one. I think this one just clips all around, which makes our life easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this on first and then install sensor and then put it back on the truck and show you how it looks. By the way, I already put this on. I think it was easier to put it on its back and add this piece on top because it made it easier to see where these clips go rather than having the Toyota sign face me. Um, it, it was harder to line these up. But I think if you put everything upside down and then line the clips up, it will make your life a little easier. Also, I am kind of shooting in a fish eye-ish mode, just so you can kind of see everything instead of it being that close. Yeah, that's looking very good. So once it's clipped in, take the three seconds to check and make sure everything's actually clipped in. Okay, last thing you want is some rattling noise once you put this thing back on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the sensor on now. But before I do that, I just have to put it here and see how it looks. Oh, it's gonna look clean. All right, let's put the sensor back on. As far as the sensor goes, there's only one way it's gonna go in. You have a little hole here that's gonna line up with that piece. There's really no other way around it. Okay, and before I forget, let's insert these little brackets that we took out. Um, if I remember correctly, the square side faces out. That goes in a lot easier. And it comes out. Now we can put that. And we have our three screws that are gonna go on top. And also, I will do this off camera just to make my life easier. Um, but whenever you're dealing with screws, go counterclockwise to make sure it actually clicks in before you start screwing anything in. All right, so everything's screwed in and everything feels tight. Now, there is a little indentation here. Put your sensor wire in, so go ahead and clip that. Um, this is not going to reach that, so I think I'm going to try to relocate these little clips and maybe give this a little bit more slack to go through here and line that up there instead of it dangling around. All right, so I thought these were going to be able to become loose so I can adjust where it goes to line it up and have it clip in there but it looks like it's zip ties and I don't want this to dangle around like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the factory zip tie and then run my own zip tie through it once I push this up a little bit and have that line up there I'll show you what I so mean right to now. show you what I mean I unclipped this one, unclipped as in I cut it, 
and obviously careful to not cut the wire. But um, once it was cut, I was able to run the factory zip tie through and then I uh, trimmed the leftover from up here. So now this can go where it's supposed to. My wire can go around it and the video got cut off there. This goes here, tie it with my own zip tie. So this is what I mean. And by the way, now that you know this, um, you maybe want to do this before you put the sensor and the clip back on because it was kind of hard getting these around to cut the factory zip tie off. And obviously careful so you don't cut your wire. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate this a little bit higher, tie it with my own zip tie. And once you cut it, you can actually pull the remaining factory zip tie out and you're left with a nice hole there to put your own zip tie. So now if that clips in there, gives me enough room to clip that over there. Alrighty. Alrighty. So now we have this in its place with zip ties and that. Perfect. All right, so this goes back in the same way you took out a couple of things on the side. You wanna make sure lines up. You just don't wanna ram it in there, but as long as you line up these top four spots you should be all right i'm gonna go ahead and screw these on clip the clips back and show you how it looks oh it looks so good so that's the finished product i'll put the link somewhere in the description title wherever um i love it I think the grill with the sensor, it's like 150, 160 bucks. They ship it out to you super quick. I mean, it's Christmas time. I got mine uh, probably three days. Sometimes they're out of stock. So if you want to do this mod, if you want to put the TRD Pro grill, which I think you should, it looks amazing. You should definitely get one ASAP. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. See if I get any sensor warnings or anything like that and then we'll take it out for a spin a little bit later well, let's see all right all right everything starts up fine pre-collision system malfunction visit your dealer okay um well that sucks so with all the excitement, I realized that I did not connect my sensor back. So, where is it? There it is. That kind of had me worried for a second. Let's go ahead and clip that back on and start the car back up again. And hopefully that won't be there anymore. That really kind of freaked me out for a second. I was not really freaked out, but I was bummed out. You know, it's a nice sensor to have. Oh, yeah. And clip all these things back. Guys and girls, don't get lost in the excitement and forget minor, major, stupid things like that. But let me go ahead and start. Take two. It. All right. So hopefully we don't get that message anymore and focus fingers crossed i wasn't pressing the brake let's try that again oh no little sign there everything looks good so far um i'll probably make another video after about 100 miles or so of driving just to make sure that the sensor is working and that's about it so Peace.